What's up everybody? This is Eric Reed Harry and today I'm working on a foundation for the Aircrete monolithic pour. I'll be using the two air forms, two air forms to create a cavity that will be filling with aircrete. So there's a couple of things I'll be uh, doing today. Number one, the aircrete I'll be making for the foundation is going to have a mix of sand in it and it'll have a little less foam than what's normally used and by adding the sand and adding less foam we're gonna get a high compressive air creep so we're gonna make that mix for the foundation then the um, the actual dome itself I'll be doing different mixes of air creep on the lower portion of the dome when I pour the air creep I'll be using a cement sand mix with the foam and as I come up the dome, I'll be transitioning to just cement, the traditional aircrete you're used to, because uh, that'll be lighter. But the foundation base of the dome, like this foundation, will have a mix of sand, cement, and foam uh, for a higher compressive strength. And uh, so anyway, that's what's happening. So I've been busy getting this site ready. We. Uh, pick this site here because it's in the wood is really nice it's uh, the most level area and even though it's the most level this corner of this foundation form was higher than um, the other end so we had to pick up the other side and backfill it with some big rocks and rubble and uh, a bunch of these little rocks so that's all done so now the ground is level we got a good solid foundation and so anyway, right now, the next step is mixing the aircrete. And so that's what we're getting down with. Hey, hey. Pretty baby. Pretty baby.
So I have my Drexel. I have a 32 gallon container here. And I'm gonna put a, four of these cups of Drexel in here. 